<laughs> it's Berserker. What's up, homie? Wolf Tick Nation, welcome to another Wolf Tick Videos. Hell yeah. Now, be like, this is Berserker, Nick. Welcome to another episode of Wolf Tick Videos. Something like that. Go ahead. This is Berserker, Nick, coming to you live with another Wolf Tick Videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. That's perfect, man. Thank you. Give me the Berserker growl. Let's hear it. Like, you're like Berserker. You're like, Come on, man. That's perfect. Like Berserker. Yeah, don't no, don't do that. You'll scare some people. <laughs> Get off my hand. Oh, my love. One sixty. Don't don't start making me get up. Five hundred. All gimpy. Wolfman's all gimpy, I'm guys. He gimpy. just had surgery. So, uh, so I'm a little. If you're a supporter, please hit that like button. <laughs> yeah, feel bad for the wolf man. <laughs> wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tick Videos episode. We are glad you guys are here because we not only have a break that we haven't tried out in a very long time. It's a different brand, all new style, right? Um, it's been a minute since we've tried these breaks out. We've we tried them out before. Well, not these ones, just another style that was the same style. Lost me. The second reason is because we're bringing back a bike from the dead, it seemed like. The Schwinn it's Ascension. Not the dead. The we sauce is it, back. We haven't had it on the channel. We haven't had it in an episode in a while. It's been a minute. I'm really excited about getting back to that bike and getting who, back Who on do you it. always think of with that bike? I always think of Dayford. That's right. Yeah. Whoop, 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 whoop. Dayford, if you're yeah. watching. Yeah, hopefully watch, maybe, he'll, comment, he'll, maybe he'll watch and comment because yeah. it's the sauce. He's one of our patrons as well. But uh, on yeah. today's episode, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brakes. They're called Huin, Huin or Juin Huin, Huin. Technology. These are cable... Well, it depends if it's Spanish or Chinese. Let's go, let's go Spanish. They're Huins. Huin. All right? Huin Techs. These are cable-actuated hydraulic brakes, right? It's a whole set. We're fixing to open that. And it was sent to us by um, our patrons, right? Old Big Sister Brandon and Big Brother Kevin H. So thank you guys for uh, sending us that stuff. We're mm -hmm. fixing to break into that. We're going to do the install. And we're going to be showing you guys what all that kit comes with. Also on today's episode, since uh, we have hydraulic brakes on this engine we're fixing to get we're fixing to get into, uh, we are going to be we installing... we got to talk about what's wrong with the brakes on this engine. We'll yes. talk about that. We are going to be installing some Tektro levers. That's right. Some Tektro levers. These are sent to us by our boy. Oil. Rax Mangam in the butt just dropped. Yes. Rax Mangam. Don't. Please don't. Rax Mangam in the butt just dropped. Send us those levers. That's the third person you told me sent them. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, let's get into this episode. Let's start off by taking a look at all these brakes and all that. And then we're going to do a little once over on the Ascension and telling you guys what uh, what fail that we had on that. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the Juen Huen technology. Exquisite technology. Perfect performance. Wow. Now, what I was mean by the whole set or the whole kit, it comes with 160 millimeter rotors, which we're not going to be using today. Um, these don't have any brand name or anything on them. And what the crazy part is, these things look like they've been like sanded. You see that? Well, it's so, like supposed to look, you're touching them. That's okay. You got alcohol over there? I got some alcohol over there. We're not going to be using these today, but the kit oh, comes not? with 160s. Why would we not use them? Do you not listen when I talk? Do you not listen when I talk? No, you make re me repeat myself. No, listen. When, when did you say about not using those? That's the first damn thing I said when I was talking about them. W which part? Dude, don't make me go over there, man. Just <laughs> come on with the smoke. <laughs> now, 160 mil. Listen to you act a little tough and being fresh out of surgery. Listen <laughs> to you. All right, okay, that's enough. You know, people are going to think less of you. You keep talking to your dad that way after all, Gimpy. I will hurt you. <laughs> Yeah, what All right, guys. Right now? 160 millimeter rotors. Apparently, you can get the 180s or the 203s that come with this kit. If you guys like a little bit bigger rotor action, we've got all of the mounting hardware. Uh, looks like for a six bolt for the discs, and then also some mounting hardware for the calipers themselves. Uh, it also comes with some adapters. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Now that's for a front 180 or a 160, and this is for a rear 160 or a 140. Now. We have got the calipers themselves. And these things look pretty damn fancy. I know a lot of you guys back in the day were telling us, hey man, you guys have got to try these. We tried the, uh, I think the Resume HB100s, and those got me back down a, uh, those things got me down a black diamond. So if you guys have missed that episode, make sure you guys go back and check it out if you want to see the initial impressions and the real time review. But these ones here today uh, look a little bit different design. 
Now they are two pieces. You guys can see the um, left and the right side here. Um, it looks like they're, yeah, they're actually bolted together. Now something interesting, I don't remember ever seeing when it came to the HB 100s, something that these ones have is it looks like there's two bleed ports. Well, that's where the piston is. You guys see the piston here? Is that or is that not a bleed port, right? See that there? That looks like a bleed port, and I don't know how often you would have to actually bleed these things. And then there's another bleed port. Well, it looks to be a bleed port on the opposite side. So that's something that's pretty interesting. Um, we also have a little uh, dial here. I don't know if that's for, um, I don't know if that's like a, a bite adjustment or what. You're not screwing them, are you? No, I'm not screwing them. Okay, all right, now let's go ahead and take these pads out. Let's take a look at these pads, see if there's anything fancy. And another thing I want to do is we're going to give these calipers a squeeze and see if both pistons are actually working. Okay, so you guys can see a little bit of shininess in there, and that actually looks to uh, maybe be a semi-metallic? Semi I don't know. Uh, let's start your crap again. I, I just don't know why we're not changing the rotors. You didn't tell yeah. me why. Well, because those rotors are fine there, aren't it? I, I know, but... We could change the rotors if that it makes you feel better. Set. Yes. All right, we'll clean those and uh, we'll uh, we'll clean these guys Thank here you. and we'll install them. Okay, if that makes Wolfman happy. Thank uh, you. Now let's go ahead and look and see if both of these pistons are going. Again, I'm not going to give it a big squeeze. I don't have it in me to fight tonight. Yeah, I know. All right, ready? Well, that might not be the best view. Let me turn them over here. Okay, do you guys see the pistons? Let's see if both of them actually work. Yep, they're both going. Okay, cool. So we are in business. Now this right here, the nice thing about it, and you know, I, like I said, I don't know how much riding you're going to actually do to have to, you know, um, to actually bleed these things or feel good about bleeding them. But the great thing is, is I mean, theoretically, you should never have to bleed these, right? It's not like it's a whole line or it's going to be a messy job. Because I think eventually, if you get them really hot enough times, yeah, you're probably going to have to bleed them. All right, next thing we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the levers. Now, the Tektro Eclipse. These things do look very beefy. I'm a fan of the levers big time. A lot of the times, these actually feel aluminum. A lot of the times, you get the steel ones that are kind of like a stamp steel, and they just feel cheap, and it feels like you're going to break them off on the fingers. We'll find a real-time review how these things are, but I really like how this lips up. I think that's going to grab those fingers well wow man there's kind of not enough room there for so two fingers i'm guessing it's a two finger break i'm guessing it's a two finger if not one i mean it's not a big lever at all it feels pretty good in the hand okay now uh these something that we uh we barely found out here recently with the other levers that we tried out this must be the uh leverage adjustment right just for, it's it's so awesome the amount of um well see this one's a little different style i'm over here spinning it check this out this here is pretty damn awesome to have on just a regular mechanical brake. It looks like this little lever here, we have to match it up, you guys can see that. Looks like it goes straight up to the next one, okay? And then you basically turn that sideways or turn it around and it locks it in place. So that's interesting if you wanna go higher and lower for the amount of leverage. I forget the name on that, but the last levers that we tried actually had the same style of design. The only thing I like better about those as opposed to these, this is a comparison video, but, um, I kind of prefer this um, rod here to be threaded so you can actually have that sweet spot. Here you're kind of fixed either having the one spot or the second spot there. But that's kind of neat that you actually get some adjustment with a lever like this. That adjustment's better than no adjustment. Yeah, absolutely. Wolfman back there talking his that's what I do. Um, let's get the Ascension rolled in here and let's and go yes, ahead. yes, it's in my job description. Let's go ahead and talk about the fail that we have with the sauce. Ascension on the stand. Ascension on the stand. All right, guys. Here is the Schwinn Ascension 29er on the stand. On the stand. This was a Target bike, and uh, we actually did a road trip where we got this. It was such that an was awesome a fun, feeling. It has great memories. It has a very good, uh, very good memories to this bike, but that's not the reason why I like this bike. I am such a fan of this bike because, for one, we have a tapered head tube. It's a 29er, but this bike doesn't feel really massive for me. And what's nice is um, it came with a lot of good features. Like, for instance, one of the features, it's kind of a plus, kind of a minus. It depends on who you are and what exactly you're doing to this bike. But we have internal routing. It was one of our first bikes that actually had internal routing, right? The second thing was one of our uh, first bikes, you know, maybe not the first, but in the top three that actually came with a one buy and it was at Target for, was it $400? 369. Yeah, 369. And this one buy that's on this right now, guys, is the same exact one buy that's been on it since day one. So that's pretty cool. We've been able to do some really tasteful upgrades and some pretty big upgrades like that fork up front um, for pretty cheap. So if you guys Wheels. missed any, 
you have the wheels. If you guys miss any upgrades on this bike or any of the kind of our segments with this bike, make sure you guys go back and check them out, okay? But this bike is a winner. Now let's talk about the fail that we have, why we're going to be going through changing the brakes out today. We're going to have to also be doing some internal stuff. Uh, the brakes that this bike has um, are the Avid Elixir One hydraulic brakes. Okay. Yeah, we need to ask the Wolf Tick Nation for some advice. Yeah. On first brakes. of all, Wolf Tick Nation, do you guys have any advice? Somebody a while back, I think it may have been Big Brother Kevin H, one of our patrons. He had said something about Saram and Avid stuff, something about uh, the O-rings have a tendency to swell it's up. Because it takes dot fluid instead of uh, mineral oil. So, I, I, so, no, I ain't going to you know put words in his well, mouth. Well, no, no. I'm so, saying that yeah. some of the people, I don't know about him, somebody, some people have said. Somebody said that. Um, it's been multiple times, right? And they somebody said good that. for a while. More beans Mr. Taggart sent him Yeah, more beans Mr. Taggart sent him And they worked for a while, but then something happened. Something happened, guys. We let this bike sit. We got, got through some other bikes. We went back to... To this bike and we're like what the hell's wrong look at this here's the front wheel okay and here's the rear well you guys already heard that there's the rear it's almost locked up and the levers you can't hardly squeeze them there's no modulation uh, no matter how much you mess with the reach adjustment or the throw any they're just they're solid you know what i mean um it's so weird it totally feels it totally feels okay, like works. they're um, like they're swollen and locked up. It's the reason we're using this bike to do the upgrade. Plus, we want to bring it back and ride it. But that's not why we're doing it. We're doing it. We have a YouTube channel where our jobs to try out different stuff. Absolutely. All right, guys. Let me get these brakes off of this bike, and then what we'll do is we'll start with some uh, some internal routing. We'll even have a new kit. All right, that we're going to be trying out today. You know, a while back somebody said, "Hey, man, you know the music you play is terrible." <laughs> Quit playing it when you take stuff off we of your like bike. We like the music, dang it. All right, this is for you. We're going to do some ASMR. All you guys light. that like the ASMR, which is strange. I smell a skunk. It's all for you guys. It's not me. I got cigar. Are you starting it now? Yes. I'm doing the ASMR, please. guys well we just got done with the asmr right and somebody couldn't keep their damn mouth shut so we're like you know what let's just go ahead and hurry up with this i even put the rotors on here didn't give you guys the asmr version of that you're welcome wolfman was talking the whole time um so now we're going to go ahead and go to the point where we're going to be doing a internal uh running internal cable routing right oh Whoa. And uh, our boy, old David Gallimore, one of our patrons, sent us this RISC internal cable routing tool. We all know how difficult it to be whenever you guys are routing stuff. We've used everything from bailing wire to duct tape. It's a big problem. So um, hopefully this works This works well. We're going to put this all the way through. And luckily, this frame has that style where it's just a slit below the crank set. That was kind of one of the big negatives with this when we first got it. Everybody was kind of hating on it. All right. So we're going to do that there. And it runs through the bottom. Now, we're going to insert this into the rubber piece. Pull this through. And now the rubber piece is starting to, oh, starting to come through here. There's a lot of tension on this. And that was easy enough, right? Oh, there we go. Just don't rip. Oh. Did it rip? No, it just came out. Come on. You're using stuff correctly? There we go. Come on, baby. Yes. Look at that. A little interesting, David Gallimore, thank you for sending us this RISC internal kit. We're going to have to fix the little mistake that we just did. And uh, check out the phone link subscription, guys. We'll try to put one of these in there in case you have this problem. All right, guys, we got the Tektro Eclipse lever up here. We're fixing to run one of our cables through here. Now, uh, something that we do for Patreon is that uh, we've been doing meat so-and-so meet william page you know berserker nick right it's like our second or third time talking to him over the uh over the inner inner interweb there uh so what i want you guys to do is uh he just explained to everybody what these levers are for so uh, berserker nick um why don't you go ahead and take it away that, that adjusts your long pull and your short pull long so pull say you're and running short like a v-break uh -huh. and a v-break more of a longer pull you can adjust it for that 
or say you're running a cantilever brake, and a cantilever brake is more of a short pull, and you can adjust your lever for that. So okay. That's what that's adjust for for long to long to short pull. Long to short pull adjustment. All right. Well, I might even use that in the video. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, and Berserker Nick with all the info. All right, guys. So I think Berserker explained it better than I could. <laughs> and guys, if you ain't uh, hit that like button or hit that subscribe button, please do so. Show your boys some love. And make sure you turn notifications on if you're part of the Wolf Dig Nation. Um, so uh, you guys can see the real-time review on these brakes. We got this done. Let's go ahead and go over to the rear. Get that one all hooked up. All right, I want you guys to look right here. Put this on there. And we go. Of course, we're going to have to put like a spacer or something like that. But do you guys see, the light's a little bright, right where that bolt head is, it's making contact. And then there's a gap below that. So it's not going to be flush up against the adapter. And here's the rear one that it comes with here. I want you guys to see the clearance here. It's flush on the rear and it's going to be flush on the front. So we're gonna go ahead and swap this guy out real quick and then we'll get to mounting this up. All right, guys, so we got the rear caliper on there with the new um, adapter. And something I'm a big fan of with that adapter is once I put the caliper on there, not only did it fit flush, but there was no need to put all the spacers and those little weird rounded spacers. I still don't get what the hell those things are used for. But we went ahead and got it on there, and it is very smooth. Now you guys can hear that awesome Passat hub. All right, and it seems like it's going to grab pretty good. I mean, I was stopping it like... Pretty quick just with my finger. Now I'm not sure on that adjustment back just there. Just keep your fingers away from the rotor. Yeah, I, I almost cut my damn thumb off one time doing that. But uh, I'm not sure about that adjustment back there. We'll have to mess with that in the real time review and kind of see. But uh, man, the caliper looks very good. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and skip installing the front one for you guys. We'll do a little test, talk about the lever fill, and then we'll be out of here, guys. All right, guys, here comes the moment of truth. We got these suckers installed. The, what are they, J Win? We're going with win, right? I think they're win. Cable actuated hydraulic brakes with the Tektro Eclipse levers. I'm loving the feel. All right. I think uh, we might have a winning, winning combination. It's so nice to bring this bike back to life. No, 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 no. Sit on it. Sit on well, it. Oh, I don't. Uh, I'll get a shot from you back here. I'm a little, I'm a little gimpy. Oh, I know you're gimpy. The How brakes do? feel really good. I went to squish them with the gun on the bike. The brakes feel really good. These these feel they feel <laughs> super legit. Guys, I'm telling you, they feel really good. Yeah, they feel they feel they're not you know they're not super budget, but they can check with the ah ah they can check with the affiliate links. Uh, well, ah, you almost got me. These levers. They feel the part. Oh, racks man, down the good. just drop. The brakes feel good, but uh, we'll see how they perform. Big sister Brandon, big brother Kevin H, another uh, set of our patrons. Thank you guys so much for sending us these. I think the real term review is going to be a lot of fun, um, and we'll keep it honest. We'll keep it fair. Yeah. But uh, Wolf Tick Nation, we are going to be getting out of here. Appreciate you guys watching another Wolf Tick Videos episode. And uh, again, man, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of the Wolf Tick Nation. And guys, we will see you on the next episode. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got to bed these brakes in. That rear, that rear and that front, you can feel the grabbing, but that rotor's like, no, nah, I'm just going to get out of here. Did you, you, you alcohol them, right? Oh, yeah. Did you show yourself alcohol in them? Oh, yeah. I got plenty of jokes. Yes.